honey and esophageal lithium button batteries. Is it possible that honey is a potential electrochemical substrate that might worsen esophageal burns if given as a single dose? Watch this video and let us know what you think. Current recommendations for mitigation of esophageal injury. Ingestion of honey in multiple doses every 10 minutes is increasingly recommended as a protective maneuver for children with button batteries wedged in their esophagus. Multiple in vitro and in vivo animal studies now provide evidence that injury may be lessened by repeated ingestions of honey or caraphate. Multiple doses of honey. We did our own trial using a split hot dog and for an hour the button battery inserted in that hot dog was covered with a dose of honey every 10 minutes. It clearly seemed to decrease damage. We compared it with a control hot dog that had no honey applied for an hour. We used the same model with one dose of honey on the battery and the hot dog and it was closed tightly for one hour and the results are surprisingly very similar. The hot dog esophagus model with a single application of honey consistently demonstrated evidence of a greater amount of caustic damage. In this video, the hot dog section on the right had the honey applied, and after three hours the damage appears to be significantly greater. The least one can say is that honey definitely did not appear to be protective. Over six days, we performed six different trials of button batteries inserted into two centimeter slit pockets cut into hot dogs to demonstrate the effect of button batteries on hot dog contents. In every trial as a control or comparison, we dipped a battery in honey and filled the slit pocket in the hot dog with honey before inserting the button battery into the hot dog. We immediately noted that the hot dogs with honey-coated batteries placed into slit pockets filled with honey consistently appeared to demonstrate greater electrochemical activity. The release of hydrogen bubbles, crackling noises, and rapid external changes to the honey were noted, and on dissection of the hot dogs at three or six hours, the damage to the honey hot dogs was visually greater and more obvious. In order to get an idea if honey alone would show the same dramatic electrochemical reaction, we wired up a button battery and placed the electrical wires in the honey with the electrical circuit both open or closed. We also immersed a button battery completely in honey. We saw no evidence of electrochemical reactivity in the honey in any of these settings. On trial 6 we also included vinegar, acetic acid, that was applied the same way as the honey. Acetic acid has been found beneficial in some studies. Interestingly, the acetic acid also seemed to have a more dramatic reaction resulting in a greater associated tissue damage and black eschar to the hot dog. Vinegar added. Honey added. Plain or no treatment added. All right, so you think that's about four centimeters. Right. That's the honey, all right? Now move this over to uh, the vinegar. So I'd say about four as well. Okay, now let's come all the way to the plane. Just visually, there seems to be, I think you can go up a little bit more. And that's more like three and a... Three and a half, about, yeah. Three and a half, okay. If you compare the cross sections of the plane, honey, and vinegar treated hot dogs, the visual differences in apparent damage seems to speak for itself. So in conclusion, well done research suggests that honey and sucrophate or caraphate in repeated doses provide both barrier protection and pH neutralization to the esophagus. However, our observations raise an important question whether a single dose of honey administered to a patient with a stuck esophageal button battery might potentially augment the electrochemical reaction and resulting damage.